In my life, I believe in a Lord, and I believe in the Holy Ghost, most of all because they're the ones who help us the most. The spirit world was assigned to us in many simple verses in the Bible. And if you're a professor of faith, if you're a author of religious works, if you're a speaker on soul, you better be talking the truth. The truth is there is a spirit world, and that spirit world is the applicable vengeance of the Lord. People die of COVID who just get it. People don't die of COVID who have it. And openly, we don't know who our food handlers are that have COVID or simply have the flu. When I look at the symptoms lips of COVID, I go, looks like the flu to me. And maybe it's just a severe strain. But openly, any illness can take anyone at any time because God has the right to choose. And here's what I want to remind you of in the simplest of things, the most simplest concept that most people can conceptually get no matter what their concept of faith or spirituality practice is you human being are not God if we believe in divine architecture which it was actually a thesis that was written and proven within the most infant infinitesimal period of mathematical science that there is a God I can show you the Holy Ghost and how the force can move an object but I don't play in Satan world I play in God's house and when I play in God's house, I learn lessons or I teach lessons to other people. And when you play in God's house, are you learning lessons for your life or are you trying to teach lessons without God's welcome and without his permission? You see, no one has the right to human traffic someone's genitalia and no one has the right to talk about sexuality unless they're talking about loving people. You see, this is where we're immoral. God makes all people and he says in the Bible and in the Quran, nothing that he makes is unclean. But we have Christians and we have pagans and we have atheists and we have agnostics who all talk out loud their opinion on other people's privacy rights, medical rights, which means their entire being, and their mental health rights, which isn't their right. We can say someone's crazy because we experience them as that, or we experience them incredibly loud or rude or whatever. But when it comes to the most intimate aspects of our human existence, you don't have the right to it if you're not their loving partner. Let's just be clear. You are not God. And you are not partnering, partnering people. You are pissing on people with your attitudes. You're pissing on people with your opinions. And my guess is you're not very happy in your life. 